Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of solving fractional problems. This is standard 3.3e in the great state of Texas and we'll be using item number 32 off the 2016 star release test. If you have not already done so, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, solve the problem on your own, and when you're finished, unpause it. We'll look at our answers together. So Lonnie has a new box of granola bars. Lonnie and three of his friends equally share the granola bars shown in this picture. We need to find the fraction of the granola bars that each of them get. Now here's our first trick right there. It says Lonnie and three of his friends. I'm going to draw a picture here. So this is going to be Lonnie. And then I'm going to draw three friends. We've got Simon. We've got Alvin and we've got Theodore. Now, the first trick is going to be recognizing that there are four people, not just three. This three is a number that shows up, and even if you wanted to split this among three, it really wouldn't work, but it's Lonnie and three friends, therefore it is four people. Now, this seems like it's a fairly simple problem, so I'm just going to put some letters here. I'm going to go L... Uh, Let's see, that's a T, L, S, A, T, and then uh, L, S, A, T. So it looks like if I wanted to, I can have uh, two candy bars for each person, or two granola bars for each person. And so I'm going to say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right, so each of them get two. But if you look at the answers, the F, G, H, and J, they're not given to us in the form of just pure numbers. We have to use fractions. So how can we use fractions to represent that each of these uh, people here get two bars? And so what we need to do is we need to make sure we understand what a fraction is. A fraction has two parts. The top part is called the numerator, and the bottom part is called the denominator. And those are pretty big words, but you're going to be hearing them a lot in the future, so let's make sure we understand them. A numerator is the number of items. Maybe sometimes it's shaded. Maybe it's certain red ones if they're mixed red and blue. But the numerator is the specific number of items that are chosen. We'll say selected. That might help. Let's say specific number of items selected. And then the, so the denominator is always going to be the total. The total number. The numerator can change. It can be the, it can be the shaded. It can be the unshaded. It might be a specific color. But the denominator is always going to be the whole thing. So let's see if we can build our fraction over here. We'll make it go over on this side. The denominator should always be the simplest. How many total granola bars are there? Eight. There's eight total granola bars. Now the numerator is going to be the number of items selected. This is where we get this right here. What fraction of the granola bars did each of them get? So each boy got how many granola bars? Well, that would be two. So it looks like our answer here is going to be G. Let's go back and make sure all the other ones are incorrect here. Three eighths. Well, how do we get three eighths? Well, the three is going to come from this right here. See, if we weren't paying attention, we might think it's the number of friends. And then this is your total. But we don't need to know the number of friends. We need to know the number of granola bars that each of them get. So F is going to be wrong. H is 1 eighth. So we've got the total there. But it says that each of them only get 1. No, each of them get 2. So that's going to be wrong. And then J. I didn't know where this... 4 comes from this 4. It comes from right here. How many total boys there are. But we don't need the number of boys. We need the number of granola bars. So our answer is going to be G, 2 eighths.